Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been cold outside, so getting out from bed is harder and harder recently. We have been watching the anime called Yama no Susume, and one of the episodes was about Kamakura, so we decided to go to the same place for hiking. There is two train stations people use when they visit Kamakura. One is Kamakura Station, and the other one is Kita Kamakura Station, which is located north of Kamakura. We used Kita Kamakura Station. Kita Kamakura has less shopping area compared to Kamakura area. But Kita Kamakura area is more calm and chill. Since it was nice weather and the leaves are super pretty, there were more people than usual. Just seeing leaves falling was so calming. We visited Enkakuji, which is the temple close to Kitakamakura Station. But it was really crowded, so we decided to go straight to the hiking place. By the way, Kamakura is about one hour away from Tokyo Station, and it costs about 1,000 yen, which is about $7.50. On the way to the hiking trail, we found this alley. We didn't know where it takes us to, but the alley was so quiet and nice. But the stairs were super super long, so I had to take breaks so many times. We found this Pikachu, so cute! There are some houses at the middle of the hill. I really don't know how they carry their groceries to their house every time they go shopping. We found this wooden statue of Doraemon, which is a Japanese famous anime character. We were just walking around the hill, and we end up arriving to the backside of the Enkakuji. Since we came back here, we tried to find the entrance. But we couldn't find the entrance, so we went back to where we were. Said bye to this Pikachu! I got tired, but it was really fun to explore random place. I thought fall season is over, but the leaves are super super pretty. There were less people when we were heading to the hiking place. I think Main Street is the road along the train rail. This cafe looks really nice. I'll go there next time. There are a lot of historic places in Kamakura. So you can find these Ojizo-san in many places in Kamakura. This cafe is super pretty too. There are so many pretty cafes around here. I really want to go all of them. It wasn't too long to get to the hiking place from Kita Kamakura Station. There are multiple entrances, and we started from Megit's Inn Trailhead. The hiking trail was pretty narrow, and all the leaves were hitting my face. But feeling sunshine and hearing birds humming was so nice. I heard this hiking trail is not that hard, but it was hard for me since I don't really walk out. I was already tired when I climbed up just a little bit. There were a lot of dogs coming to the hiking. They were super super cute and so energetic. I really wish they could share their energy with me. When I went up a little bit higher in the trail, I could see the ocean. And it's so pretty! This place was actually on the anime called Yama no Susume. I was so happy just seeing the same exact place that was on the anime. There are many places that you can see stratum along this trail. It is really crazy that this area used to be below the ocean. We finally got to the top of the mountain. I think we took about an hour and a half to get here from the trailhead. The view was super nice. 
by the way, this mountain is called Mount Ohirayama. At the top of the mountain, we had lunch. We were so so hungry, so we tried to make lunch as fast as we can. The problem is that it took super long to boil the water. We were just staring at the water until it get boiled. Even though the water was boiled, I had to wait four minutes to eat this ramen. That was the longest four minutes I have ever felt in my life. After we finished eating, we headed to Kamakura Station since it's closer to the exit of the trail. We thought it is not gonna take that long to climb down the mountain, but it took almost the same amount of time as the time we climbed up. We found this mushroom and we were debating that we can eat it or not. And immediately after that, we found this paper saying it is poisonous. We were so glad that we didn't touch it or eat it. We found this little shrine, but I wasn't sure what is enshrined. Finally, we came back down the trail. It was a pretty long trail, but it was really fun. After we got home, we cooked for dinner. I didn't really want to cook because I was so tired, so I decided to make oden, which is a traditional Japanese dish. Usually, there are fish cakes, seaweed, daikon radish, eggs, and so on. But I love fish cakes and daikon radish, so I put a lot of them. Since you can just put ingredients into a pot and boil them for a while, it doesn't take much time and energy to cook. Actually, you can even find these oden at the convenience store during winter season in Japan. I'm not sure people eat outer skin of daikon radish, but I really like making salad with outer skin of daikon radish. So I just chopped them to small pieces and I put them into a small plastic bag and just put a little bit of salt on it and shake it until the salt goes everywhere in the bag and wait for about 10 minutes and drain water from the bag and that's it. While waiting on the water is boiled, I just put some soy sauce and put some dashi, which is like a fish sauce and adjust the taste until the point you like. After that, I cut the ingredients for oden. This is fish cake and these are fish cakes as well. And these are another type of fish cake. I bought way too much fish cakes. And this is another one. This one has octopus in the fish cake. And this is really really good. And it checks the taste one last time. And dinner is ready. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.